and welcome back to my channel so today i am coming at you guys with a newer um type of video for me at least um i'm actually gonna do a kroger grocery haul for you guys today um i was always skeptical about doing kroger um videos just because i feel like kroger is not in every city but if kroger is in your city i'm gonna show you guys what i got from kroger um this is gonna be more of like a monthly haul just because these groceries are gonna probably last us at least a month um some gonna last us a month and then some probably isn't and i'm gonna explain why but before i get into explaining what i got and all those other things if you are new to this channel my name is Brittany. i do grocery hauls and um product reviews and if you like what you see please join a family subscribe make sure you like and comment so i can you know know that you guys like these videos let me know that you're watching yes but yes like comment and subscribe you guys i'm trying to grow my channel and you know reach out to more people so they can discover my content but okay let's get into the groceries so i can show you guys what i got and explain why okay i got so um to explain like why i got what i got you guys um i am on a healthy kick because this summer i am trying to be the weight that i would like to be so you're gonna see some healthier things you're gonna see some things that i got for my daughter and you're gonna see some things that i got for my husband now me and my husband are going two different directions we're trying to lose weight because we are both trying to lose weight right now my husband he is um going to be juicing and that's going to be the reason why you see a bunch of fruits and vegetables in this haul and then i got um things for my meal prepping i got chicken fruits and vegetables for my meal prepping and just eating healthier so without further ado let me start showing you what i got um normally i would show you guys um prices in the store but today i just didn't bring my camera with me so i didn't like show you guys the prices in the store which is why i'm going to tell you the prices as i show you things in this video so let's get into it let me make sure i get my receipt and we can get into it but before i get into it you guys can somebody tell me why kroger receipts is this long like why it's like I got a lot of stuff, but this this receipt is almost as big as me. But I'm gonna fold it up and make it a little bit shorter. Okay, so first things first, I wanna show you guys these Linkuizings that I love to get. I don't know if you guys get like frozen meals a lot, but when I just can't get around to cooking or um, when I need something quick, this is what I go for when I am eating healthier. But this is one of the Lean Cuisines that I love is the Swedish, Swedish meatballs. And as you can see, it's 300 calories and two grams of saturated fat, 690 grams of sodium, three grams of sugar and 18 grams of protein. Now this is higher in sodium and most frozen things that you get will be like frozen meals but like i said this is something quick that i grab it's not something that i eat on a regular basis but this lean cuisine is 3.99 and all of them that i got is 3.99 i got two of these and then oh my god you guys this is my all-time favorite smart one it is the creamy basil chicken with broccoli you guys like i said all-time favorite um it is 170 calories 3.5 grams of fat 3 grams of fiber and 19 grams of protein now you guys for a long time, I was not able to find this smart one in the store. I don't know if people just really like this particular smart one, but I mean, for months, I was not able to find this smart one. And it was like, 
I hate to be that person to like grab more than what I need when I go in the store. But every time I seen the smart one, I had to like grab multiple of these because I think people just really like this one. I could never find it for months. So I had thought that they it discontinued it, but they didn't. But if you see this one in the store, you guys, it's really good. Um, and like I said, this one, I think this one is $3.99 as well. Yeah. Well, no, this one is $2.49. So this one is $2.49. And then I got three of them to put in my freezer for just when I need it. And then I got two packs of Tyson chicken. It is the boneless skinless chicken breast. And as you guys can see, it is $9 and 45 cents. And then this pack is $9 and 15 cents. And this is gonna be for me for my meal prepping. And then I got one cucumber for salads. And then this cucumber was a dollar and 49 cents. And then I got two cases of strawberries. And Kroger's strawberries was pretty good. You know, when I looked, I didn't see, I didn't see any bad berries in, in the two cases that I got. So I was really excited about that. But these cases of strawberries was $5.29. And then I got this pack of um, seedless grapes. And I usually go for the green ones because for some reason I don't like purple grapes. I like the green ones. And you guys, I don't know if your grocery stores is doing this, like putting it in this plastic container, but for some reason I really like it. Like I like that grapes is coming in in, in this plastic container. And as you can see, these look really good, you guys, these grapes. Like, they look really juicy. So I can't wait to eat these. Um, and then the grapes was, this was $6.99 for grapes. And you guys, I have noticed that Things in a grocery store is extremely expensive these days. Like, I was really surprised at how much my groceries totaled to. Like, I feel like I got a lot of stuff, but you know, my grocery bill have definitely changed in the last few months, <laughs> for sure. And then I got pineapples for my husband because he will be juicing these and I got two of them as you can see and he specified he needed fresh pineapples so i made sure i got them fresh um let me find it on a receipt here maybe i'm just looking too fast Where's the pineapples? Okay, yeah, these the pineapples was four dollars and ninety eight cents. And then I got this bag of Cheetos, and these are gonna be for my daughter. I tried to get like I feel like the light is so bright that it's taken away from. Here we go. I got these for my daughter and I tried to get like the simply like baked white cheddar Cheetos to try to make it a little bit healthier. Um, these are 160 calories 
and the serving size is 32 pieces so i think that's really good for 32 um 32 cheetos 32 cheetos is a lot 460 calories and this is a really big bag you guys so i'm pretty sure this is probably gonna last her like the whole month and i'm sure my husband and me is probably gonna have some of these too because they're not like super bad um and then these were let me find it the cheetos was three three ninety nine this big bag of cheetos And then I got these tortilla strips. These are gonna be for my salads. It is the Santa Fe uh, tortilla strips. And they are 35 calories. And then the serving size is two tablespoons. I don't know how you would measure out tablespoons and tortilla strips, but we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, these are pretty healthy. And I usually put these in my salads. And then these tortilla strips is, trying to find it here in the receipt. Let me just put it down here. If I can focus on this long receipt. Okay, here we go. Um, it's two dollars and fifty cents. So the tortilla strips was two dollars and fifty cents. And then I got these Quaker caramel rice crisp. And you guys, oh my god, if you haven't tried these, they, these are so good. It's a healthy snack, but they are delicious. If you're looking for a healthy and yet delicious snack. It make you feel like you're not eating something healthy, but you really are. So let's check the nutritional facts. So this is 110 calories. And as you can see here, the serving size is 16 crisp. I feel like 16 is a lot for 110 calories. But you guys, if you see these in the grocery store, get them because they are so good. And you see I got the family size because all of us will eat these. So good. Okay, oh, I didn't show you the price, sorry. So the price of these is, these were $7.49 for the caramel rice crisp. And then I got some Green Giant Riced Veggies. So this is a really nice substitution for rice, you guys. If you are trying to eat healthier and you know, you don't want to indulge in rice too much, this is a really, really lovely substitution for rice. Um, and then these were $3.39. So $3.39 for this and I got two of them. Next, I got some green onion. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like the green, the long green onion. And I got it here in, in the plastic so it don't collect too many germs, but we're definitely gonna wash that. Always wash your fruits and vegetables, people. Always. Um, let me see. See, the green onion. I wish this receipt wasn't so long so I could just tell you guys like how much it was. Okay, the green onion was 89 cents. 89 cents for this. And then I got my husband two cucumbers for him to juice. And then those cucumbers was, mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, so these were a dollar and fifty eight cents for two of the cucumber. And then I don't know if you guys are hip to bok choy, but I got some bok choy because I am going to be making some soup that is going to be involving bok choy. And that was six dollars and five cents this was pretty expensive for this but i'm assuming it's because i got so much but it's because i'm going to be making a lot of soup with this because i love soup when i'm dieting so that's why i got it and this it should last me a good while for the six dollars that i spent on it this is um i'm not going to take it out of the plastic but you can see that I got some Napa cabbage. I can't talk. Napa cabbage. And this Napa cabbage was Okay, the Napa cabbage was $5.46. $5.46 for this. I also plan to make soup with this napa cabbage a different kind of soup than i'm gonna make with the bok choy so two different kinds of soup i plan to make um i got a bag of carrots here and my husband planned to juice these um and so the carrots was do, do, do. the carrots was two dollars and 19 cents so not too bad for a bag of carrots two dollars and 19 cents and then i got celery for my husband to juice and this celery was i just seen it the celery was a dollar and 79 cents, which I think was really good for all of the celery that I got. I got lemons. This is also going to be involved in juicing. And the lemons was a dollar and 58 cents which i feel like that's a lot for two lemons a dollar and 58 cents like y'all let me know if that was like reasonable or do you think it's ridiculous too but a dollar and 58 cents for lemons you guys um i also got ginger i don't know if you guys can see that but it's ginger in this bag ginger root this is also going to be involved in juicing um and the ginger let me find it here the ginger root was 44 cents 44 cents for the ginger root and then i got a big bag of oranges this is a eight pound bag of oranges and this is gonna be involved in juicing, but this is also just gonna be for having fruit in the house. Um, and we're just gonna eat it, um, you know, as something healthy to have. I'm trying to find the oranges here on the receipt. Oh, here they go. Okay, so the oranges is $6.99. $6.99 for the oranges. And then I got some sweet corn. And this is going to be involved in meal prepping. And so the corn was... I can't find the corn. Okay. So the corn was $2.79. The, the sweet corn, $2.79. And then I got chicken nuggets. For my daughter and I, th I thought these were pretty cool because they're supposed to be shaped as minions but i'm pretty sure she's probably not gonna know like what these are at all but 
she'll eat them because they're chicken nuggets and the minion chicken nuggets was let's see Okay, so the minion chicken nuggets was $5.99. Then I got two bags of leafy romaine lettuce. I'm gonna use these for salads. And then the bags of lettuce was $3.99. So the bags of lettuce was $3.19 and I got two bags. And then, so I got a bag of golden potatoes and these were $1.02, which was really good for these. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, they must have been on sale or something for $1.02. And then I got some wonton strips because I'm gonna put these in my soup. And these strips are, let me find it here. These were $2.50 for the wonton strips and they are 35 calories. And um, the serving size is two tablespoons. And then I got a bag of Blue Diamond Almonds. It is the Honey Roasted brand. And then the serving size, the serving size is one ounce and it is 160 calories. And I'm assuming they're so high in calorie probably because they are honey roasted. But these are gonna be um, something I have for a little snack. And the almonds are, these were $9.99 for this big bag, which I feel like is a little steep for almonds, but almonds have always been on a more expensive side. And I'm assuming it's because I got the Blue Diamond brand. Um, it's the reason why they were probably so expensive. I'm really trying to break myself away from picking up like name brand items in the store because you can get like the Kroger brand for much cheaper so it must I must have just picked this up because I was in a rush but on camera I am teaching myself <laughs> next time I go in the store I'm going to get the Kroger brand and not the Blue Diamond brand because $9.99 for almonds is kind of steep but it's for my healthy eating so I'm not gonna complain about it too much <laughs> And then I got a bag of apples. And then this is a, I was trying to see if it told me how many is in here or how, how big this is, but it's a pretty big bag of apples here. Uh, wait, I think it said at the bottom. This is a three pound bag of apples. And the apples were Okay, so these apples was $4.99. And then I got a bag of french fries. And these are gonna be for my daughter cause she's a two year old and she's a very picky eater. So that's why she got uh, french fries. And French fries. Okay, the French fries. The French fries is $2.99. $2 and 
And then I got yogurt. And this is the Light Fit brand. And as you can see, this is 80 calories. And the serving size is three fourths of a cup. And the yogurt was $4.29. And then I got some egg whites. And this is my first time getting egg whites, you guys, to eat um, just as something healthier that I can eat. Um, looking at the nutritional facts, the serving size is three tablespoons for 25 calories. And I got egg whites because, um, I don't know, like I've, I've gotten really sensitive to eggs over the years. And... I'm gonna try egg whites before, I, I, I really don't wanna give up on eggs, but for some reason, every time I eat them, um, they don't make me feel very well. So I just tried to get the egg whites and see if that make me feel any different. And I heard the egg whites are a little bit healthier anyway. So that's the reason why I'm gonna try to get the egg whites. But I think they're more expensive in price and I'm gonna try to find a price here for you guys. So the egg whites. The egg whites, yeah. There are, the egg whites are $5.99. But I don't think that the egg whites are any different in price of eggs right now because when I got picked up a carton of eggs, I think they were either like four or five dollars eggs are really expensive right now <laughs> i've been seeing like all types of memes on facebook about the price of eggs but yeah the egg whites wasn't any different in price from just a carton of eggs um and then i got a bunch of bananas just for us to have and the bananas were The bananas were a dollar and 53 cents. Um, next thing I got is um, oatmeal for my daughter. This is the 18 pack. And it is the fruit and cream flavored um, oatmeal. And I got this because this is the brand that my daughter likes to eat. And it has strawberry cream, peaches, cream, peaches and cream, blueberries and cream, and banana and cream. And um, the nutritional facts is that they are all 110 calories per pack. And she usually eats this for breakfast. And the oatmeal was, this was $7.49. And got a few more things left over here. I got some tomatoes. Stra it's, I said strawberry. <laughs> I got cherry tomatoes. <laughs> and this is going to be for salads. And the tomatoes were... Where are the tomatoes on here? It's getting really hard to find things as I narrow everything down. Um, so these were $4.99. And then I got some garlic. Because I use garlic a lot when I cook. Is my camera focusing? But yeah, it's just minced garlic, you guys. And the garlic was the garlic was a dollar ninety nine cents 
$1.99 for the garlic. And then I got a can of Glory Greens. It is the collard greens. And this is my favorite brand to get if I am gonna eat canned greens. Um, and these were $2.50 and I'm gonna use this for meal prepping. And that's the other can that I got. And that is the last of my monthly grocery haul for Kroger, you guys. Um, sorry that <laughs> me reading off the prices was a little rough just because the receipt was so long and I got so many items. But if you guys like this video, um, give me a thumbs up, comment below. And if you liked what you see and you made it to the end, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in my next video. Mwah! Have a good day.